What's up guys and welcome back to another video right into my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to basically tell you how to uh, increase your FPS or get an FPS boost in Red Dead Redemption 2. So stick to the end guys and at the end you will probably know what to do in order to increase your FPS in Red Dead Redemption 2. Before we start right into the video, I just want to you guys know, let you guys know that I would really, really appreciate it if you would just leave a like, a comment or a subscription right onto my YouTube channel. It would really make my day and help me out as a little YouTuber as I am. Especially subscribing would be a big support for me guys. You will support my work here on YouTube a little bit and I'm gonna really be thankful for that. I mean, it's free for you and I'm gonna thank you for that anyway. So I would just say, let's get right started. So as the first step, I want you to open up your files and I want you to uh, click on this PC, right click this PC and go to the very bottom where it says properties. As the next step, I want you to go to the right hand side and clicking onto advanced system settings. Well, I want you to click onto advanced and click onto performance and settings on performance. What I want you to do next is gonna to be to adjust for performance. So you're gonna click that and hit apply and okay. Once you've finished here, I want you to end every single task. As the next step, you're gonna hit uh, the bottom left corner of your screen, clicking onto the Windows symbol and opening up your settings. As the next step, I want you to click on system and stick around display, where I want you to uh, identify your main monitor. Obviously, this just applies if you have more than one monitor. So once you identify it, you're gonna scroll down and stick around scale and layout, where I want you to change the size of text apps and other items to 100% as recommended. And the display resolution should be the same as in game. So 70 20 by 1070. Uh, for example, if you're using that in game, I want you to apply this also to your display resolution. As the next step, I want you to click on notifications and actions and turn this obviously off because of two reasons. So first of all, you don't want uh, notifications popping up in the right hand corner of your screen. It's really annoying and you need to tap out and swipe it away and all this stuff. And secondly, uh, your PC needs to render that and it needs to use performance for that. So we want to minimize this process by just turning it off. As the next step, I want you to click on the fifth one where it says power and sleep. And on screen and sleep, you can't really do anything besides going to right hand side and clicking onto additional power settings. What I want you to do in this tab is gonna to be to click on this little symbol right here and afterwards click on high performance. At this point, I need to mention that clicking onto high performance could lead to overheating or could lead to uh, getting your PC too loud. And if you can't compensate that, um, I obviously want you to turn it back to balance because we don't want to risk anything. But if you can keep it on high performance, this will really impact your FPS positively. So just try. Once you finished here, you should be able to end this task. And I want you to click right onto storage. Once you clicked on storage, I want you to click on the blue printed text where it says configure storage sensor, run it now. What I want you to do here is going to be really simple. I want you to copy my settings for every single um, yeah thing you can do. And uh, I'm gonna explain it to you. So uh, you have programs, you have applications, and you have processes in general, which are accumulating over time at those temporary files. And those temporary files will just um, cover up a lot of storage and this will impact your performance neg negatively is if those temporary files are not getting blown out of your system once in a while. And with these settings, they will get blown out once in a while. And once you uh, copied my settings, I want you to click on clean now. And once you clicked on clean now, you should be able to go back once and twice and navigate right onto gaming. What I want you to do at gaming is gonna be to stack around Xbox game bar and turn this obviously on off. Um, because the Xbox Game Bar doesn't really come with any benefits besides impacting your FPS really badly and um, getting perhaps also your PC to get some frame drops or FPS drops, so just turn it off, it doesn't really, you doesn't really need that. So next step, I want you to click right onto Captures and stick around background recording, record in the background while I'm playing a game and turn this obviously off, especially if this is turned on without you even know it, noticing it, this will impact your performance really badly. I mean, everyone knows when you're recording something on your PC, um, it will impact your FPS or your performance in general. And especially do, you don't want to record something with Windows. So either way, just turn it off and check it once in a while. Just come back and check if this is really turned off. As the next step, I want you to click into game mode. And I can't really tell you now to turn it off or on. It just, it's really system specifically. So just, you need to check it for yourself, turn it on or turn it off and um, just stick with the system, which is working better or stick with the setting, which is working better. As the next step, I want you to go back once to the menu, main menu and click right into update and security where I want you to stick around Windows Update. So I know guys, it's gonna sound a little bit basic, but I want you to basically download the latest version of every single driver you could, you could possibly update because updating the drivers will resolve like 99% of every issue you're currently having. 
and uh, this will help you a lot. So just download the latest version. You are providing the best possible performance for your PC. And once you finished, you should be able to end this task and do the same thing for your graphics card. So uh, I want you to download the latest version of either AMD, Nvidia, whatever you have. Just go to the application and go to the browser and download the latest version just to provide the best possible performance in general for your PC. Once you're finished here, I want you to open up your task manager by just using the shortcut or going down to the task bar, right clicking it and opening up your task manager. So once your task manager pops up, I want you to uh, navigate to the top left corner of your screen. If you're just ensuring that you are sticking around processes as the next step, I want you to click on the CPU and end every single process, which is currently having too much CPU usage at the moment, uh, which has nothing to do with Windows and do the same thing for your GPU. So once you're finished here, you should be able to end this task again. Yeah, guys, that's it for the video. I hope I could actually help you out with this one. If it was like that, just leave a like, a comment or a subscription. I'm going to really be thankful for that. And uh, I'm really sorry if I couldn't help you out, but I'm just going to do my best in order to help you out. Either way, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. See you at the next one. and Bye.